are again back out at the range. Uh, had so much fun making the last video that I thought I'll make another one. Why not? Made a few changes here to the condor uh, and I'll go through and explain a few of them so that you you know know what I'm running, know what's happening here and what changes might affect it. Uh, for starters I am running an FX Superior Heavy Liner. <laughs> Got to get that right because there's so many different versions of it. But this is the slug liner, and I machined it down to be able to fit in here. I added a stiffener to the end, and one thing that I learned from the last video to now is that these are lead-sensitive barrels, meaning... I was shooting two different brand pellets in there and you're supposed to season them with a few shots before you try grouping and that should weed out a little of those flyers. Well that's one thing I didn't do in the last video so this time I'm going to stick strictly to the javelins, the 34 grain, and we're going to try to just dial those in. Another change I did was I lightened the hammer. I was running about 128 gram, and I was if after reviewing the footage from the last video, I saw that I wasn't getting much adjustment out of that, out of the power wheel. So I decided to lighten that hammer, and that fixed that issue right away. I was able to shoot all the way at the bottom and get a really low FPS, and then crank it all the way up and get a little higher. I did adjust the regulator, turned it up maybe 100 psi but we'll see if that makes any changes and see how we're able to group these JSB Jeff or <laughs> how we're able to group these javelins. I wanted to post a question to you guys. Uh, if these changes are good, I'll leave it there, but if I'm not getting quite the right uh, performance out of it, the next change I'd have would be to open up that valve. See, right now I'm running, you know, about a 2200 PSI through the regulator and that's getting me the velocity that I have right now but one thing I could do now is open up that uh, valve a little more get more airflow through it and allow me to lower that regulator down now the question I have is I've got a 4500 PSI bottle on here which allows me to shoot down to about 2200 PSI right now before I start noticing a difference in performance. If I make that valve more efficient and I'm able to lower that regulator pressure down to say 1800, will that change the amount of shots that I'm able to get out of this bottle or will I still be using the same amount of air per shot even though it's at a lower pressure? Let me know what you think down in the comments and let's get some discussion on it and figure that out. Maybe some of you have had experience with it. But let's get out there and start shooting. All right, let's get our zero first. And this time I'm gonna try for best three. Dead center. Hmm? 962. Aim a little higher. One thousand three. Yeah. Ten eleven. Oh, I see it. I think. We'll try that one shot zero now. If we're on here, we can start trying to group. One 
1017. 1013. All right. Let's go check those out and see how we did. Not bad. So, sighting in, I hit there, there, and there. And then this would be our group. We got one drifting there, but I mean, gosh, that's getting pretty tight. I'm wondering if that was the slower one when I turned my air on. But we will see. Let's try another, another target here and see how we do. Got to remember my holds. Say you're supposed to always use the same hold, same grip pressure and everything. Especially with these. So a lot of practice. Alright, so not a whole lot of change there. Every shot's going up like two to three feet per second. One thousand nine. There we go. Gotta let the regulator stabilize. I'll tell you what, that is an odd sound that you get coming from this thing is the regulator recharging the plenum. <laughs> Not used to that with this gun. All right, let's go see how we grouped. All right, well, looks like we did open up a little bit. Not much. I mean, we just have a little tight group and then an outlier, typically. They're still our best one, besides the flyer, seems to be pushing them as hot as we can. So let's try next step down and see what happens. We got two more targets to go. Doesn't always work out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Make, making modifications, but once in a while, get something going wrong. Looks like the spring's still intact, but looks like that uh, hammer weight had its effects on my valve. What is that supposed to look like? Well, we're supposed to have a stem and a seal on there, spring behind it, but uh, yeah, that one broke. Looks like I'll have to do a little fortifying and make the next one a bit stronger. That's what happens when we push things to the limits. <laughs> Once in a while, it doesn't work out. 